see. Yeah. Ah, oh, the car did not see that truck. Yeah. Look, they said that I couldn't do it, so I went and did it. Hey YouTube, it's your boy Tech It Up back at it again with another video. It has been a while since I talked to all of you or uploaded a video, <laughs> if I put it that way. Um, but a lot has changed. So about a month and a half ago, my 2018 Tesla Model 3 Long Range was actually totaled. Um, I wasn't at fault. I'll probably make a video on that, just going into more detail. If you all want to see that, just comment it below. But there's a lot you have to do to ensure that you get what you should get uh, when it comes to like your settlement um, for Teslas, right? They lowballed my insurance company did lowball me, but after going back and forth, I was able to get a get a pretty good amount for it. Um, and now I'm in a brand new 2022 Model Y performance. Um, so I upgraded, and this thing is fast i think oh, what, zero to 60 in 3.5 seconds just got track mode with the holiday update um so it's it's definitely been a lot of fun I, I made some changes to it i got the drone outside so i'll show it to you all um if you all can guess the wrap not only the color but also who is made by i'm gonna pin that comment so i want everyone to comment below what color you think this wrap is uh, today what we're going to be doing is testing full self-driving so i just got update 10.69.25 uh, the other night and I got to test it a little bit but it was dark outside and I didn't feel too comfortable using autopilot or FSD for the first time at night just because I want to see everything just to make sure I'm fully aware of what's going on um, so today is gonna be our first impressions uh, so typically what I do is I leave my house I go to the gym I go to the grocery store rinse and repeat um, for the most part, I work from home, so there's no need to, for me to leave the house for anything else. Uh, so what I'm going to be doing today is just we're going to start off in the back of the neighborhood. Then we're going to go to the grocery store. I've been a Tesla owner since 2018, and this is my first time trying FSD. I feel like I've been waiting so long, and I'm super excited to show you all my experience today. I hope you all enjoy. All right, y'all. We are ready to go. Uh, the drone is about to die, so we won't get too much time uh, with it following us. But I do want to show you all my settings before we get started. So I do have the profile on average. I heard assertive is a lot more reliable and more so mimics what a human would do. But for right now, we're going to keep it on average. Everything else is pretty normal. I got everything else on. We got the destination in. We're going to be going to my local grocery store that I shop at. Um, and we're going to go ahead and engage autopilot and let it do its thing. I want it to go a little slower. The speed limit is 25 here, but I would prefer if we go a little slow. Um, this is going to be interesting uh, just because you all will see the roads are pretty skinny. In some cases, the cars are parked on both sides. My uh, drone is telling me low battery. I know I will land it soon. Um, so it's about to turn. So this is gonna be interesting. Let's see what it does. It looks like it wants to look. It's creeping forward. This is so trippy. Uh, let's see. All right. So it sees that car, which is good. My drone is telling me that it's, it's ready to go bye-bye. So I will be right back. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, land this Low nothing like a video with some technical difficulties uh i did just get the drone as you saw um so we're gonna go ahead and re-engage the car still in the same place we'll put back on the full screen mode and you see it thinks that this right here is a bus it looks like but it's really just a gate to one of the houses in his neighborhood uh but let's go ahead and re-engage autopilot um it was actually doing pretty good maybe in the next video i will get the longer lasting drone battery this battery that i have right now lasts 
like 10 minutes it's ridiculous um, but let's see how it does all right so it is going a little fast but it is going the speed limit like I said which is 25 I'm gonna set it to 18 for right now I don't know if I like that it's in the middle of the road I wish it wasn't in the middle of the road um, but it is going to the right now okay it does see the pedestrian right there on the right it's pretty good playground right there I can't wait for us to get they call it downtown but it's not really downtown but the roads are weird you'll see what I'm talking about in a little bit um, we're coming up on a stop sign so we'll see how it does here I guess it doesn't matter much that the drone died because I would have landed it right here anyways there is a car behind me autopilot is creeping forward I'm sure this driver is gonna get mad at me um, but it is going <laughs> that is so tree that is so trippy that is so trippy uh, I'm glad that it took off fast just because in a bunch of autopilot videos that I've seen okay it's turning right here I did not expect that it actually should have went straight uh, but I guess it's taking us another way we'll take it um, but what I was saying was that car that was behind us I'm glad that it actually did just creep up look and then go because when I was watching a bunch of other YouTube videos it got awkward like it just sat there and then people started honking and the driver had to take over and I will do that if I have to I don't want to do I don't want to seem too unnatural um, so if it does take too long to make a decision I will take over I think a lot of people get nervous about the yoke and take it over uh, but it's actually not that well I say it like I know I just imagine that I would be able to take over easily if I needed to um, there are cars behind me so I hope it goes this time we do need it to go so please go okay all right it's looking it's creeping forward and it is going that was a hard turn not gonna lie all right we're at the red light I'm not gonna lie everyone this so far this is pretty good um it is doing really good all right so now we're I want to say we're going to go to the downtown area. It should take us that way since it is taking us a different way than I would go. Um, but you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. We're not too far away from the grocery store. Okay. Speed limit is 35, so it is going 35. There are cars passing me, uh, but that's okay. I just, I'm going slow. Typically I go about five over the speed limit. It's telling me to engage. Uh, so I did read in the notes that it will um, try to, I hope, okay. I thought it was about to try to get over. So when a car lights up blue, that means that it needs to yield for that car. Um, so now we are getting over. Uh, but I did read in the notes that it will ask you to engage with the steering wheel more if things seem difficult. Uh, so it's really just protecting itself and yourself. Um, but as of right now, it hasn't really asked me to touch the steering wheel that much. Uh, so now we're going through the quote unquote downtown area. All right, this is where things are gonna get a little weird. I'm actually gonna ask it to slow down. Um, just because I'll make I'll feel safer like that. Okay, so there aren't as many lines here, but you'll see it's actually doing a really good job. And that is so strange. I have not engaged at all yet, other than to get my dead drone from the sky. Uh, but right now it is looking pretty good. You can see the visualizations. It got, it's uh, accurately mapping out this truck, which is parked on the side. Um, and so it's showing that in the visualization and the cars in the parking lot over there. You can even look. So uh, we have three cars. It's actually four. Um, so it's picking up that white truck, but it's not picking up one of them. Um, so that's, I mean, it's okay. Can't complain, can't be perfect, right? All right, so it's asking me to engage the steering wheel. And now we're going through the quote unquote downtown area. 
Uh, I'm really curious to see how it does when we get up here to this railroad track. Okay, you are going a little fast, buddy. All right. This is what I was worried about. So it's actually going off to the right. Um, it should, I was hoping it would follow the same line as these other cars, which it just did. All right. Oh, there's a pedestrian. Oh my gosh, okay. My first time engaging, the pedestrian ran out, so it did not like that. Uh, <laughs> it did pretty good though, it did pretty good. It did pretty good, I'm proud of it. Um, oh my gosh. <laughs> That was not me telling him to go though, <laughs> but we should yield for pedestrians. So it did yield. Um, so I only had to engage once, but that was completely understood, not because it did anything sketchy. It was just a pedestrian that was in the way. I'm surprised it didn't get in that lane over there. Okay, light just turned green. We're almost to the grocery store, so uh, we're about to get to a really busy area. So I'm curious to see what it's gonna do there, but it handled that area pretty good, even with the pedestrian running out, beeped and everything, um, alerted me. So I was ready, right? Now we're passing one of our fields. Um, I think it's soccer. I've never been over there. Um, <laughs> well, I never, oh, it is a soccer field. See, I, I know my surroundings. All right, so now we're changing lanes. That was kind of fast, but it's, it's doing its thing. Speed limit is 40 now. I'm going to slow you down, because I know you will take full advantage of that. Okay. All right. I don't know why it's trying to turn. Okay, it's not turning. I think it was just... We are a little close to this car, but we are in the right lane. So far, so good, everyone. Comment your thoughts. If you made it to this point in the video, let me know what you're thinking um, in terms of how well it's doing. I'm, I'm gonna give it a nine out of 10 so far. Um, the only time so far that I had to disengage was for that pedestrian that jumped out in front. Well, it thought the pedestrian was about to jump out in front of the car, but really they were just running to their car to get in. Um, and me slowing down made him think that, hey, I should get in the car, uh, which is what it's supposed to do. Yield for the pedestrians, of course. Um, little did that person know is that the car was driving itself. So that's funny. <laughs> he was waving at me, but really he should have been waving at the car. Uh, but as of right now, I think this is pretty good. We have about what, maybe a half a mile left. So we're almost at the final destination. And I got to say, I am really impressed. I think if, I think autopilot is ready for prime time. Um, I think it really depends on what you're doing, right? I think it would be cool for me to, maybe it'll, the next thing I should do is some testing in construction zones. Uh, but like I said, for the most part, I do the same thing. I go to the gym, I go to the grocery store, and that's about it, and I go home. Um, so for that, this seems pretty good. It is going really fast right now. Okay. So like I said, we are almost there. The way it's mapping out in this visualization is really nice. All right, so we are going to that HEB right there. So we should be turning in. I wanna say we should be turning in right here, but I don't know if it's gonna make me turn in right there or if it's going to, I think it's gonna go all the way around, to be honest. It could have turned in right there, but it's probably gonna go up here and turn in to the side, which is fine, to be honest. Oh, it's actually, Yeah, oh, the car did not see that truck coming out. Okay. <laughs> I think he was supposed to yield for me. So if anything, I won't give it too hard of a time. All right, it is taking this turn really fast. Yeah, I take this, I take that back. 
autopilot is not ready for prime time. That, what was that? What was that? Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and park this. Just when I thought it was getting good. I'm uh, pretty disappointed. <laughs> I'll go ahead and park it. For the most part, it did pretty well. I think when you start including other drivers and how unpredictable they can be, like, or even that pedestrian autopilot sort of freaks out. But for the most part, like when we are written, when we started off, I gotta say it did pretty good. I'll go ahead and take this camera off. Uh, it, it did pretty good. Uh, that that blue truck hopped out in front of me. I'm surprised that autopilot was about to keep going. I'm guessing the collision avoidance would have kicked in like right before it hit that truck, I'm hoping. Uh, but I'm surprised that, cause I saw the truck itching forward and about to turn, but autopilot just kept going. Um, and then I'm also not sure why it tried to turn into that lane when it was really trying to turn into this, on this road that we just turned in on. Um, so towards the end, I'm gonna, I'm bringing it from a nine out of 10 to a six out of 10. But even then, I still think it did really well. You just have to make sure you're in control. That was a little scary. Uh, but for the most part, I think it did well. But I hope you all enjoyed this video. Like I said, I'm super excited to be back. Um, let me know what you would like to see next uh, on this channel. I'm looking forward to seeing your comments down below. Turn on the notifications and subscribe so you can get notified when I upload my next video. I'm going to try to upload at least once a week, uh, but I will see you all later and make sure you keep taking it up. Peace. Yeah, look, they said that I couldn't do it, so I went and did it.